Hey, one and all, welcome to another episode of your Nerd Day podcast. I'm your host, your doctor, recommended dose of nerdiness, aka your Nerd Day, coming to you live. Well, not live, I guess. I'm still recording, right? Not because if it was live, it'd be on twitch.tv slash Nerd Day, which you can, you know, follow me, you know, hook me up there. But we're on youtube.com slash Nerd Day. So that's, and you know, audio podcasts of your services. So, hi. Sorry, it's been a, a whole month since, or a little over a month since I've done an episode of this, and I feel like a little rusty about that. But hey, uh, thank you guys for rocking with me. Um, I've mentioned before, yeah, it's been like a month. Uh, said sorry. I want to say sorry, I guess. I said sorry on social media. I am completely off the rails. I'm so tired. Um, yeah, I did mention on social media, which you can see down below. That's my Twitter. But I also have a Hive account, so you can just follow me at Nerdaday on one word um that you know i wanted to say sorry you know for not uploading a lot of content um was really stressed we had like a really big family vacation in the middle of november and the week before we uh were packing so that was stressful and then the week of the vacation was absolutely amazing it was like the coolest thing i've ever did i had so much fun got to hang out with my sister all my family and like some friends and stuff it was, it was a blast um and then the last week <laughs> when we came back uh, and Thanksgiving holiday, it was a shit show. Um, everyone was sick. Uh, everyone went to various urgent cares and emergency rooms and stuff like that. But we're all better. We're on the mend. You know, things are happening. <laughs> we're progressing. We're getting better. Uh, but yeah, back. I, I also had some malfunctions. I have my PC right here. It's up now. But I had some uh, upgrades. That's all done. Uh, thanks to my supporters, which we're going to get right into, actually, because I'm just dilly-dallying with my apology. But I want to say thank you for everyone who's been following me, checking in on me, and everything like that. And, yeah, I got some plans for, you know, 2023. I want to I kick it off a little stronger than we did, you know, previously. But let's give a special shout-out to the people who've made this PC, which I am streaming. Not streaming, I will be streaming on but i am currently <laughs> recording on uh, i got some new parts thanks to and some offset costs thank you to my patreon supporters out there and for the month of december my patreon supporters are as follows hopefully awesome matt and maggie thank you so much you guys are awesome as I always mentioned in these episodes jeff Elsher, the homie again homie, you're listening right i keep forgetting bro just uh, the ps4 is like no, it's downstairs now. But you see, it's further downstairs. I can just downstairs, and I get out the door, and you're a couple blocks away. I can just drop it off. I just keep forgetting because I'm an idiot. Please tell me. <laughs> Susan, the homie, always supported me. Um, you know, she she is just absolutely awesome. Uh, Rest pass my partner in crime over at Ape and Work Podcast. Don't forget ApeWorkPodcast.com for the audio version of our wrestling podcast and YouTube.com. You search Ape and Work right there and we're coming back very soon we're figuring out a schedule um and just we have so much to talk about in the world of wrestling and then as well brandon thank you so much and, and not only is he a patreon supporter but now he's got me new editing software so that's awesome and i'm gonna see him next week give him a big old hug because i love him all right but that is it we got some good music playing right here we're gonna transition stuff. I don't have a Steam Deck yet, but this episode is uh, nice. You'll have seen the title on your audio and or video, whatever you prefer. There's a little hiccup in the video, so just in case you see me like jumping, I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if there's any kinks I need to figure out, so I apologize. Apologies for that. But we are doing our game award. Uh, we're doing a game award voting so yeah we are over here at gameawards.com i am officially voting for stuff i thought i did previously apparently it did not save i guess because it thought it was in mexico when i did it i was supposed to do it for another show but you know it is what it is we got some good music we got some chill music we're gonna go through these real quick i'll give you some answers behind why i feel you know these certain things why did that just randomly turn off okay <laughs> if you are if you are currently watching the uh all right sorry for the weird technical delay you'll just hear like a random blip and then i'm back uh if i edited this correctly <laughs> i did it if you're watching the video uh sorry i did have light on me and then i, I don't i think it died so 
just ignore that. Just listen to the beautiful sounding voice that is mine. Um, and focus on, on you know, what's going to be on screen in two seconds. We're going to transition over here. All right, here we go. We're going to start doing our live voting. I mean, it's live for me. You guys are, it's recorded for you guys. So you guys are watching. Um, we are going to go through each of the nominees for the Game Awards. And we're going to vote. I'll give you my reason behind them. If I have a reason, like a good reason. But we're going to start here with the player's voice, uh, which is your favorite game of the year. Player's voice is 100% fan voted across all three rounds. Um, so I'm going to vote. <laughs> um, I know right now this is round two of three. I think three is next week, like during the awards. I'm not sure yet. But uh, right here we have Elden Ring, God of War Ragnarok, Sonic Frontiers, Stray, Minecraft. Damn, good for them. For Horizon Forbidden West. Cold of the Lamb, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, Genshin Impact, and Seafood. I'm going to, I have not had the ability to play Sonic Frontiers, and God of War is going to get other awards, which we'll talk about later on. <laughs> Spoilers. But I'm going to give it to Horizon Forbidden West. I'm going to submit my vote. Your votes have been submitted. Yay. No. No, I don't want to change my picks. All right. Well, anyway. We're done with that. So now we're going to go into the nominees. We're going to view all categories. And we're going to start from, from the last category and go up to the first. Similar to my homies over at Point in Progress. I like that, you know, great minds think alike on that one. So here we have best esports event. I'm not going to go too much. You know, this is recognizing an event across single or multiple days that delivered the best of class experience for participants and the broadcast audience. We have Evo. 2022 2022 league of legends world championships pgl major antwerp 2022 uh the 2022 mid-season invitational and valorant champions 2022 we're gonna give it to evo evo is so fun to watch every year um i love it i get i don't get to watch as much as i used to um a lot of frozen that goes on in my house uh, next we have best esports coach. I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna vote because I don't know any of these people. Uh, I'm so sorry, guys. Um, have fun with that. Uh, we're gonna go best esports team since the Philadelphia Fusion are now on there, which is the Overwatch team. I'm gonna skip this one as well. Best esports play again. It's not fair. You know, I'm not gonna. You know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like sit here and pick somebody I don't even know. So we're gonna skip this category. Best esports game. Here we go. Um, and uh, this I am going to vote in. Um, not necessarily, you know, because I play these titles, but I'm going to vote for uh, my niece's favorite game. <laughs> you know, shout out to Ari. Shout out to you. But yeah, esports game for the game that delivered the best overall esports experience to players, inclusive of tournaments, community support, and content updates, irrespective of genre or platform. I'm going to vote for Valorant. Uh, she loves that game. She kicks ass in that game. She's awesome. She's doing great. Good for her. Love it. That's one of her favorite games. Um, she's actually building a PC so she can play Valorant. So that's cool. Uh, now we're going to move on to most anticipated game. Recognizing an announced game that has demonstrably illustrated potential to push the gaming medium forward. Of course, this is a you know, always a controversial topic because it's like, oh, what do you want to vote for? You know, it's weird. We're voting for a game to win a category that is not even out yet you know like they're gonna win an award for what if it's bad too you know like hogwarts legacy <laughs> um but yeah let's go into it real quick so we have final fantasy 16 hogwarts legacy resident Evil 4 starfield and the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom so um if you are a fan of nerd today or if you're not you know welcome thank you for joining us um i'm gonna vote for final fantasy 16 now if you this is your first time witnessing anything nerd today, I absolutely love Final Fantasy 16 and my uh, Final Fantasy. Pardon me. Uh, I hope to like Final Fantasy 16. I know my friends over at Point in Progress have a show called Fantasy in Progress, um, and they love Final Fantasy 14, which is the MMORPG. Uh, I'll most likely never play that <laughs> just because it's a lot of time sink, money sink as well for me um but it is something that they love and yoshi p the developer of that game um is working on final fantasy 16 so that is where we're at right now and they love him so much i'll trust them and i'm excited about final fantasy 16 i also love just mainline final fantasy games 
Uh, single player number titles are, you know, my bread and butter. Uh, minus four, like I said, single player. So no 14 or 11, I've never had the chance to play, but love Final Fantasy 1, 2, 7, 8, 9 is my favorite Final Fantasy of all time, 10, 10, 2. Uh, I just beat 12 uh, a couple months ago. Review coming soon. I don't want to give a time frame just because November was crazy. God forbid anything happens in December. Uh, knock on some kind of wood. Um, I did just beat Final Fantasy 12 uh, just recently. Really good. I'm going to move on to 13 very soon. 13 2 and Lightning Returns. Uh, and I love Final Fantasy 15. So to have a new mainline game. I have like a bunch of videos on the Nerdy Day channel uh, about Final Fantasy 16. So you can check them out uh and you know audio podcast as well so it's very exciting so I'm, I'm i'm hoping for this obviously hogwarts legacy listen you know fuck jk rowling um resident evil 4 one of my all-time favorite games of all time i i honestly cannot wait but the final fantasy 60 is new so it gets me excited starfield uh i like bethesda games um so we'll see and I think my wife will kill me if she watches this because I didn't vote for Legend of Zelda because I have the Zelda tattoo. So, you know, there's that. All right. Next, we got best adaptation, recognizing outstanding creative work that faithfully and authentically adapts a video game to another entertainment medium. We have Arcane Legend uh, League of Legends. Uh, we have Cyberpunk Edge Runners. We have The Cuphead Show, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Uncharted. So. Very interesting category here. So with this, I've watched three out of the five categories. Uh, we watched a Cuphead show in our household. My kids love it. They actually found it. I had I walked in the room one day and they were watching. I'm like, hey, do you guys know what Cuphead is? I'm like, no. I'm like, it's a video game. It's awesome. It's hard. Uh, they really play. I'm like, no, it's too hard. I don't want like you're just gonna see me die all the time. <laughs> but it was funny. It's really good. A uh, good adaptation of that. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is one of my favorite movies of, of this past year. Had a lot of fun with that. Really good. Um, bringing a lot more game elements into the uh, world that they've created in the movie. I'm a really big fan of it. And then Cyberpunk Edge Runners, which is my vote, is a win. Uh, Studio Trigger and CD Projekt Red have, just, and Netflix have just created like an awesome world. Uh, beautifully crafted story. Um, and it makes me want to, I'm literally still in the opening mission of Cyberpunk. Uh, and it makes me want to go back and play that game and start again. I mean, I'm like literally half an hour in, so I'm not missing too much. But like go in and actually put some time into it. Um, I love the world. Shout out to uh, Frank over at Point of Progress because he like hyped it up, got me hyped. And we were like just texting back and forth. Uh, so really excited. I hope Cyberpunk wins. Next, best debut indie. For the best debut indie game created by an independent studio, a new independent studio, we have Neon White by Angel Matrix, Norco from Geography of Robots, Stray by Bullet Welf, Bullet Welf Studio? I hope I didn't mispronounce that, guys. I'm sorry, sorry. Tunic from the Tunic team, and Vampire Survivors by Pongo. I'm gonna go for Stray. Um, some it's the game i spent the most time with out of everyone in the category and i really liked it uh, i haven't got a chance to beat it but i've messed around enough and i was like oh you know i would like to go back there um obviously we have god of war and i have a game for review um that i will talk about in a different video that's not here all right next best content creator of the year easy nerd today thank you so much guys i love getting this award um I really, I just want to give a shout out to, you know, my, my beautiful wife, um, my friends, like, you know, the point of progress people, like I mentioned, like Mario, and Frank and Fee, Sly, Harv, um, you know, I want to give a shout out to the shared screen folks. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I, if I, you know, I might have a speech one day if I'm in this category, but, um, <laughs> we have for a streamer and content creator who's made an important positive impact on the community in 2022. We have Carl Jacobs, Ludwig, Nibelian, Nobru and QT Cinderella. I'm gonna give it to Nibelian. Um, rest in peace. Uh, not, the person's not actually there, but they're done. Um, and they did uh, amazing work. And I just, uh, they, I feel like they, I guess posthumously, post, I don't know how you pronounce that, but like they should get the award. Uh, they deserved it. Um, again, thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Um, is this saving myself? Okay, it is saving it now. All right, so we got best multiplayer. Listen, I'm, I'm, stop. Full stop. Pause. End. Let's just stop. We got, we got, we know. Just again, just full stop. Just 
best multiplayer for outstanding online multiplayer game and design. Blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. That's what that's what wins by Tribute Games and don't dot emu. This is this would have been my game of the year if God of War Ragnarok didn't come out. And I'm not even done God of War Ragnarok. That's how good Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge is. Um, I'm obviously very biased being a gigantic Ninja Turtles fan, but I gotta I gotta give it out to my my shell heads out there, man. My my brothers, uh, Leo, Donnie, Raph you know, Mikey, Casey, April, Splinter. I had such a fun time with this game. A review will be coming soon again. Um, but my stream series is on youtube.com slash nerd today. You know, watch me play through the whole game. Um, and then at, at, there's also there just a reaction of the Shredder boss fight. And if you want to see me tear up because Wu-Tang and Shredder and Ninja Turtles are all on the screen at one time, that's on there. It's a really fun time. But yeah, I don't, I don't give a shit about the rest of these games. <laughs> Like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2? Cool. Um, I downloaded Warzone 2 the other day on my computer for some reason, even though I know I can't run it. Uh, Multiverses, got to play a couple games. It's okay. It's not... It was fun enough. Um, Overwatch 2, I never really played. Splatoon 3, I've never played as well. So, Ninja Turtles. Uh, Alright, let's get back to the music. <laughs> Sorry. Best uh, sports slash racing game for best traditional and non-traditional sports and racing game. WWE 2K22. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, that's not listed, obviously. So we have, uh, but this should have been, and it should have been. Um, so I guess next year will be WWE 2K23 versus AEW Fight Forever. Fingers crossed. Um, so we have F1 22, FIFA 23, NBA 2K23, Gran Turismo 7, and Ali Ali World. I'm gonna give it to Ali Ali World. Yeah, that's cool that they're on there. I know a lot of people love that game. Uh, best sim slash strategy game. Uh, not really my category, but yeah, I was just gonna skip it. <laughs> I was like, ah, it's not really my good category for me. Best family game. Here we go. For the best game appropriate for family play, irrespective of genre or platform, aka the Nintendo one, um, as everyone jokes around online. Kirby and the Forgotten Land uh, by HAL Laboratory. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Coming out on Game Pass, by the way, next week. That's really exciting. Traveler's Tales are the ones who make that game. Mario Rabbids, uh, plus Rabbids. Sparks of Hope by Ubisoft, Mon Milan, and Paris. Nintendo Switch Sports. Um, it's with two, three. We're going to give it to Kirby and the Forgotten Land. It deserves it. It's an amazing game. Um, even the little bit I got to play. Best fighting game for a game. For the best game design, primarily to go head-to-head -to -head combat. First, Sifu should not be on here. No offense to Slow Clap. Um, I still had to play a game. Thank you for providing me with the code. Um, and we will have a review and stuff like that. And I'll mention all that stuff for the FTC later. But it should not be on here. Fighting games should be the ones listed next to it. So we have DFN Duel, um, Arc System Works, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure by CyberConnect2, King of Fighters 15 by SNK, and Multiverses by Player First Games. I mean, shout out to Multiverses just being on here. Um, I think the only person I've ever seen play DNF Duel was probably um, Rumble Pack, Chris Rumble Pack uh, from Share Screens. But we have King of Fighters. I'm going to vote for them. I know so many people love King of Fighters, and they deserve to win. Especially because next year we have Tekken 8, most like uh, hopefully Tekken 8 and Street Fighter 6. Like they deserve to shine before the, those juggernauts come in out of nowhere. All right, best role playing game for the game uh, for the best game design with rich player character customization progression, including massively multiplayer experiences. We have Elden Ring, Live a Live, Live Alive, Live Alive, Pokemon. Legends, Arceus, Triangle Strategy, and Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I'm gonna give it to Live Alive. Um, got to borrow someone's copy. I got to play a little bit. Really liked it. I'm gonna end up buying my own version of it so I can play through that. But yeah, fun game. Fun game. I think Elden Ring is gonna win other categories. So I want something else to win, obviously. Best action slash adventure game we have for the best action adventure game combined in combat with traversal and puzzle solve. We have a Plague's Tale Requiem, God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, Stray, and Tunic. Listen, Horizon is an amazing game. 
it is it is it's it's a really fun game it is it's a really really fun game the issue i'm not afraid the issue is god of war ragnarok came out um that's the issue just straight up and with that issue um comes the fact that um god of war is a 10 out of 10 game i'm not done it that's not my official you know rating scale because we you know we go to five at nerd today it it's a 10 out of 10 game for me even i don't even know how far i'm into it. i don't want to see a walkthrough maybe i can find like the ign walkthrough to see how far i am but I, I i'm absolutely adored and loving it i don't i don't know what adjectives and like use for this i mean it's just amazing it's absolutely amazing um this is one of those <laughs> it's one of the the shitty things in awards where you know like hey this game is gonna win this category so let's give it to this game and that's how i'm gonna vote as if you want to say that's shitty you know right down below i don't know hit me up nerd day on hive at nerd underscore a underscore day on twitter uh i'm gonna go with horizon it's a really good game this is the only place it's gonna even remotely win so you know yeah you know uh so now we have uh best action game for the best game in the extra genre primarily focused on combat with bayonetta 3 by pilot and games Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 by Infinity Ward, Neon White by Angel Matrix, Sifu by Slow Clap, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Strategy Advantage by Tribute Games. Come on. Did I just say it again? If the Turtles are on there, they're winning. Unless it's the Turtles and Kratos, then I have to pick. And we'll if that happens, we'll get to that. But we're halfway through these categories. Ninja Turtles for the win and best action game. Because honestly, it really truly is one of the best action games I've ever played to just to capture the essence of what i played as a child but bring it to a modern audience and we got at least five people playing at one time online over at uh neon pocket dimensions i think it was neon pocket dimension or was it owen oh, jesus no it was, it was neon pocket uh their stream when it came out so shout out to that um best vr slash ar Again, this is not really a good category for me because I, I don't play these games. I don't play VR, AR games. I'm going to skip that. Innovations in accessibility, recognizing software and or hardware that is pushing the medium forward by adding features, technology, and content to help games played and enjoyed by even wider audience. If As Dust Falls, God of War Ragnarok, Return to Monkey Island, The Last of Us Part 1, and The Quarry. I am going to go with Last of Us Part 1 um honestly this was the sony category um sony has been doing an amazing job with their accessibility um i'm just so proud of what they do and it's so cool to see how inclusive they are and the things that they go out of their way for um i i, I don't know why i want to go with you know uh last of us I, this is what my gut says so we're going with last of us on that one um best community support uh recognizing game for outstanding community support transparency and responsiveness inclusive of social media activity and game slash patches game update slash patches sponsored by discord we have apex legends by respawn destiny 2 by bungie final fantasy 14 by square enix fortnite by epic games and no man's sky by hello games we're gonna give it the final fantasy 14 only because my buddies uh point in progress have fantasy in progress just want to hook them up with that I don't know if that works that way, but it's fine. Um, best mobile game. For the best game playable on a mobile device, we have Apex Legends Mobile by Lightspeed and Quantum. Diablo Immortal by Blizzard. Genshin Impact by Hoyoverse. Marvel Snap by Second Dinner Studios. And Tower of Fantasy by Hada Studio. I'm going to go with Marvel Snap, man. That game is fun. I don't get to play as much as I would like to just because I'm doing either like dirty day stuff or being a dad or god of war ragnarok or ruby arrow fell like or watching anime or something like that but the the times i do get to play during the week it, it's so much fun it's like a fun like time sink it's in quick if you want to be long games you have long games you want to have just want to do a round or two, like you know one game or two they're so quick you know 
it, it's just so easy to use and play. It's 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 really cool. No trash at the game though. Just want to throw that one out there. Uh, best indie for outstanding creative and technical achievement in a game made outside the traditional publisher systems. We have Conan Lamb by Massive Monster, Neon White by Angel Matrix, Sifu by Slow Clap, Stray by Bullet Well Studio. I am so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. And Tunic by the Tuning Thing. I'm going to give it to Sifu. I got to play a little bit of it, like I said. And that's not because they gave me a code. Um, code provided by C uh, Slow Clap. I don't think I have to make this that, but it is really fun. I was actually really surprised. And the reviews from like Tim and all are kind of funny, like really hyped me up. And that's why I actually reached out for a code and I got one. Alrighty. Making sure you can hear me. Yeah, I think you can hear me. God, this episode is just chock full of weird crap going on. That's awesome. All right, I'm actually going to modern my own self so I can hear myself just in case. Because I literally got wrapped to edit this video and miss a whole chunk of audio until the very end randomly. I don't know why. But now that's an Easter egg, a post credit. I got a post credit scene. How about that? Look at that. Not just you, Marvel. And the weird stuttering continues. God damn it. All righty, so we're next on to best ongoing game. Um, yeah. yeah, best ongoing, sorry. Uh, awarded to a game for outstanding development of ongoing content that evolves the player experience over time. We have no music, right? Do we have music? Do we not have music? Do we have music? Oh, no, you can't hear music. Now you hear music. There you go. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. This is a shit show. All right. Anyway, best on going. Uh, I voted for Final Fantasy 14. Again, shout out to the Fantasy of Progress people. Okay, watch the Easter egg at the end. Moving on, games for impact uh, for a thought provoking game with pro social meaning or message. MMR Blue by Cloisters Interactive, A Dust Falls by Interior Night Citizen Sleeper by Jump Over the Age, Endling by Extension Is Forever. Here, I'm uh, sorry, Extension Is Forever by Hero Beat Studios, Hindsight by Team Hindsight. I was a teenage e uh, exo colonist by North Way Games. Gave it to us, Dust Falls. Uh, this is a game I actually put some time into. Uh, thank you, Game Pass. Best performance. All right, so I had this whole speech, right, in the previous edit of the video before I realized there was no goddamn audio. Um, best performance awarded to an individual for voice at over voiceover acting, motion, and or performance capture. We have Horizon Forbidden West's Ashley Birch, who plays Aloy, and... Um, Elizabeth Sobeck, uh, a play tale requiem, uh, Charlotte McBurney, uh, God of War Ragnarok's Christopher Jug, who plays Kratos, the uh, Greek god of war, Immortality uh, as uh, Manning Gage, and God of War Ragnarok's Sonny Soljic, who plays Atreus slash Loki. Now, listen, I voted. You can see my vote right here if you're watching on youtube.com slash nerd today. I voted for Sunny Soldier. And now why? I am most likely halfway through this game. I'm not sure. I don't want to look at a wiki um, just in case I get spoilers. Um, I feel like I'm halfway through this game. Uh, I do a lot of side quests. But with the experience I've had so far in the game, um, I was really, really happy with Sunny's portrayal of atreus in 2018's god of war i think he did a great job even when the parts where people were like oh he's annoying well like that's the whole point man he's like supposed to be annoying he's an annoying kid who just found out he's a fucking demigod um this is no discredit to any of the actors on this category i think everyone did an amazing job i know i hear so many good things of play tale requiem um unfortunately i have not played that game so i cannot speak to her performance or i'm sorry their performance just in case uh immortality's man engage i have i again i have not played that game i know i need to play it as well another amazing game that came out this year um but their performance uh, people rave about um i've played horizon for better west and ashley is always amazing in what she does and her performance as Aloy is great 
Um, same thing with Christopher Judge. He's so he brought something so new to Kratos when he took over in 2018. Not to discredit, um, I'm so sorry, I, I do not know the actor's name, but the guy from Living Single who played Kratos previously, um, Judge just brought something different, and like the whole game was different. He felt like the Kratos we've seen before, but like matured in some way. Um, and now having Sonny, like I said, he did great in 2018, and it's, it's without giving spoilers of what happens in the game. Things happened so far where we're at, and it's been amazing to see that. Um, so I'm really happy to see his his, his progress and, and uh, his motivations are great, everything like that. I'm really happy with with Atreus slash Loki, and, and it's it's mainly because of Sunny's performance, honestly. So uh, next we have best audio design recognized in the best in-game audio sound design we have call of duty Modern warfare 2 by affinity war elder ring by from software god of war ragnarok by sony santa monica and i did vote for them and you know i will explain my decision in a moment grand turismo 7 by Pol uh, polyphony and horizon forbidden west by gorilla games so for me this was horizon or god of war if i have these amazing steel series arctic 7x uh, headphones that I bought on eBay. Uh, there's a new version which I would love to purchase unless Steel Series wants to send me one. That'd be amazing as well. Uh, hit me up, Steel Series. What's up? Um, but I, I got these because I wanted something that I could use on PlayStation, PC, and Xbox and, and Switch as well, and I could use it on everything. And it's amazing. I, I highly recommend this this headset. I don't know if I could talk, you know, like party chat on PlayStation, but I mean, honestly, I'm. My PlayStation, if I'm playing with like like Evil Dead or whatever with the with the point of progress, folks, Easter egg. Um, it's gonna be right here. I'm gonna be on Discord with them. I can use this to listen to them, and I have my God, El God on mic to talk to them. So there's that. Um, but I've, I played God of War Ragnarok and Horizon Forbidden West with these on. And I mean, obviously they're not the Pulse headsets. I can't speak to like if the Pulses are better for like sound design in a PlayStation specific game, PlayStation 5, pardon me. Um, but this has like the 3D things and, or like the 3D soundscape and it's insane. Like I'm not even joking. Like it's, it's awesome to hear like the rustling of the leaves and stuff like that. And Horizon did a really good job, but God of War Rag, like I, after a while, I was like, oh, cool. I don't need these. Like, this is a cool experience. I don't need these on to play the game. I can play with just the TV. I feel like I need these with God of War Ragnarok. And it's not necessarily like it gives me like a gaming advantage or anything like that. It's literally purely because the, I just, I, I live in that moment, you know, when I, when I am Kratos running around Vanheim, uh, Valheim or whatever. Yeah. Vanheim, Vanheim I think, right? Um, hearing like the buzzing of like the mosquitoes and the water as we you know go down the thing or hearing the ice crackle as the wolves run across you know the the lake of the nine is it's absolutely insane like i i had uh it was a non-violent moment so it was nice but i had my daughter wear them and she was like whoa whoa and she kept turning her head and she was like like enamored i had my son wear them using the same thing and I just playing with the I, I had both of them wear it and i was throwing the leviathan ask and, and calling it back and like playing with it like juggling it and just to hear like the like back it's just so awesome um call of duty might win this one because they they do have really good sound design i will say that but i my pick personally would be god of war uh, next best score and music. I picked Metal Hellsinger by Two Feathers, the composer. Barry McCready's score in God of War is probably better. I'm just a metalhead, and I feel like this is the only category that Metal Hellsinger can win. So I think they should win it. You know. Best art direction for outstanding creative or technical achievement in artistic design and animation. We have Elder Ring by Self from Software, God of War, Sony Santa Monica, Horizon Forbidden West, Gorilla Games, Scorn, Ebb Software, and Stray. Bullet Weave Studio. I went with Eldering. Watching Har from Point of Priors and Beard and Hair, like he his like playthrough, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I I I I've dipped my toes in Bloodborne quite a few times. I don't know if I'm gonna stick with it. And just from sophomore has like this great art design. And that's not even to take away from anything else here. Like Scorn, that HR Geiger, you know, 
inspired artwork is is gross and awesome uh stray has a cool style horizon is they like, really t i think take uh, to me it takes advantage of the P playstation 5 and kind of elevates what we saw on playstation 4 um the water and just the rustling and everything it's, just, it's really cool in the snow god of war ragnarok is, is just amazing but i would have to give it to elder ring specifically um next last three guys we have best narrative for outstanding storytelling and narrative development in a game we have a playtale requiem asopa studios elder ring from software god of war ragnarok sony santa monica horizon forbidden west guerrilla games and immortality half mermaid um god of war again i don't know where i'm at i'm actually gonna look after i film this and as i'm uh rendering the video i don't know where the hell i'm at in the story but it, it's it's amazing it's absolutely amazing this is crazy uh this game's awesome uh, i'm very fortunate to to play it i feel i feel fortunate like i paid i paid 70 bucks and i'm like i'm fortunate to play this game that i paid money for um i've cried multiple times i uh obviously for review i have like a count of like what things that stick out um so trying to like kind of get that workflow a little better and it's it's just amazing um it's a game that gameplay wise obviously is fun but like the narrative if you if you see my very few reviews that i've done on nerd today um narrative is king for me and the narrative in this game even so far is just beautifully stated and it's it's doing a good job. It's doing stuff I want. It's showing me stuff that maybe I didn't know I wanted, and it, it's doing really good stuff, man. I'm just, I'm really, right now, if if the game just ended randomly right now, I, I would say it's still probably my favorite game of all time. I, it's hard to think, cause like Last of Us is up there as well. Um, I don't know if it's one or two. That's a that's an interesting debate I would like to have with somebody, I don't, or with myself. I'll just double myself and just like somehow look at myself like god we're too, you know, like no <laughs> um yeah it's just it's just amazing i'm i'm, I'm so happy to um to 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 play it i'm just i'm i'm blessed to play it you know uh all right last two game direction i technically did i clicked immortality apparently when i was in mexico i did not mean to uh i was drinking a lot of tequila though uh best game direction when i made this vote <laughs> awarded for outstanding creative vision and innovation in game direction we have elder ring from software god of war ragnarok from sony santa monica horizon for better west gorilla games half mermaids immortality and bullet weaves studios stray i voted it technically says hey i voted for vitality i was actually going for god of war ragnarok <laughs> uh or elder ring either way i'll go god of war ragnarok for me um I, have to, I should check my notes. Maybe I was drunk and I knew what I was doing. I don't know. Um, there was a Michael Jackson show when I was on vacation. I was just watching it. I don't know. Uh, and last but not least, Game of the Year. Recognizing a game that delivers the absolute best experience across all creative and technical fields. We have Asobo Studios, Playtale Requiem, From Software's Elder Ring, Sony Santa Monica's God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West from Guerrilla Games, Bullet Weaves Studios, Stray, Amalus Sauce, Xeno Blade Chronicles 3. I obviously voted for God of War. And with that, we're done. That's it. Um, do I need to say more about God of War? I don't think I do. I think, um, you know, we know that it's amazing. It's a great game. And, uh... You know, I, I, I think I think most of the games up here deserve so I, I'm not crapping on any games. I do feel bad, I will say, for Horizon. Just looking back at this list right here. Like, uh, Horizon. Horizon, man. Just all the time. I honestly thought Zelda was going to come out. And he's like, here we go again. Zelda versus Horizon. Well, Zelda's, you know, going to win. Um, poor Horizon. Um, I mean, not poor. I mean, they, they did a great game. It's a great series. I'm, I'm really a big fan. But, like, they come out and you're like, hey, man, this is a really good game. Are they going to win game of the year? It's like, hey, uh, here's Elder Ring and God of War right now. Damn. All right. Well, yeah, part one, what are we going to do? Here's Legend of Zelda. And damn. <laughs> you know, like, 
One day, Horizon. I would just keep pushing it back. <laughs> like, 2023 is like, no, because then even then, Starfield. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a shame. Um, but yeah, God of War Ragnarok. Like I said, I've not even completed the game. And I, um, I'm i just head over heels in love. And I can't wait to see how this goes. Unless somehow this like craps the bed at the end somehow. I doubt it, though. Uh, it's probably going now as my favorite game of all time. If not, top three. Um, so with that, we are going to cut it here. Um, and then I'm going to introduce my segue to my little easter egg see you guys next time why did i do that that was fucking weird hello sir good man how you doing oh okay yeah oh yeah yeah Yeah, 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 hundred percent. Absolutely, yeah, that'd be great. I'm actually, uh, <laughs> I, I'm filming my predictions episode right now. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. No, I, 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 I'll edit this all out later. This is hilarious, though. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. No, that sounds awesome. Yeah, so Thursday there, right? Okay, perfect. Yeah, sounds good. And was it YouTube? Or. Oh, okay. No, I was literally staring at the camera. I was trying to like promote you guys. <laughs> it's a, you, all right, so youtube.com slash point of progress. You can watch me on there. <laughs> all right, thanks, Barry. Yeah, sounds great. All right, uh, see you then. Bye. Well, you heard it here first, uh, Nerd Today podcast people if you're listening that was mary vera the homie from tech raptor and point of progress calling me live uh live for me recorded for you guys yet again uh from their their monthly meeting point of progress i am gonna be a guest on point in progress so go follow them youtube.com slash point in progress i will be there during their live stream of the game awards as a guest so you can see me on there. You can listen to me. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have a great time uh, as always. But I'm actually going to wrap up this episode now. Uh, that's funny enough. So, yeah, we're going to wrap up this episode right now. Thank you again. Uh, if you want to support me, listen, like I said, as I was starting to go through before, I was not rudely interrupted, but amazingly interrupted because Mario is the fucking homie and Sly and Harv and Frank and Fee. Um, if you listen on audio. Go to youtube.com slash nerd today. Give me a sub over there. Like, share, and subscribe. That helps me a lot. If you're watching on youtube.com slash nerd today, nerd today, pardon me, <laughs> go to your favorite podcast uh, service, whether it be Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Pocket Cast, whatever it may be, and give me a sub, a follow, whatever it's called over there. Like, five stars, all that jazz. Refer me to your friends. And then if you have a couple bucks to toss me just to kind of recoup some of the money I put out for this PC, even though I did get some help from Patreon, patreon.com slash nerd Thank you so much. I will catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.